What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Porcelain Zen. Nice to meet you. Your girl done got her hands on some clippings, y'all. Some natural 4C textured clippings. Y'all know I'm hype. These clippings are from Otre Hair. I got them from my local beauty supply store, and they came in a pack of nine clippings for $26. These clippings came clips attached and ready to install. Before we jump into this tutorial, you're gonna need a few things. The first thing you're gonna need is some gel, mousse or wrapping foam, leave-in conditioner, edge control, a rat tail comb, and some rubber bands or scrunchies. Let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is spray my hair down with some leave-in conditioner. So before filming this video, I had my hair styled for 24 hours, so that's why my hair is already sectioned off. Essentially, all you wanna do right now is part your hair into two sections. Once you part your hair into these two sections, you're gonna part your hair into smaller sections to lay the tracks in between. When doing styles like these involving clip-ins or single tracks, I like to start from the bottom. And it's okay if your parts are not exactly straight. Once I have my first layer parted out, I like to spray it and douse it with some leave-in conditioner and comb through it. This part is gonna get rid of any knots or tangles. Now you wanna take a dollop of gel, yes I said a dollop, and you wanna saturate that layer of hair. After you saturate it with the gel, you wanna massage it in and then comb through. This is also the technique that I use for my wash and goes. This is how I define my curls. Now I'm getting ready to lay my first track of clip-ins and there are two combs on both sides that are already attached. I'm gonna take another dollop of gel and I'm just gonna coat the clip-in with this gel. We gonna be using lots of gel. So it's super important to find a gel that does not flake. So you wanna take the first comb, you wanna measure it and make sure that the track isn't too long or too short. You want to hook the comb in and press it down until you hear it snap. You're going to repeat that step with the second comb. Do y'all see how nice and blended, how like nice that just falls in line with my natural curl pattern? Again, this is a 4C texture. So now we're going back in, we're going to part another layer of hair and you're going to repeat those same steps to lay your second track. And I'm gonna be zooming in, I'm gonna be zooming out. I just really want you guys to get the gist. I'm doing the same thing throughout my head until I get to the part that I sectioned off for my bun or ponytail. So again, I'm spraying this layer, I'm dousing it with leave-in conditioner. I like it so much more when my hair is wet. It absorbs the gel so much easier and I just find when I use water, it makes my hair really slinky and slimy and it doesn't curl up. It just makes it really frizzy. So now I'm just combing through just to make sure that there are no knots, no tangles. And now we're gonna lay the next track. One thing that I do wanna note is as you go up higher, as you can see, this track has three clips instead of two clips. As you go up higher, you're gonna use longer tracks, which means they're gonna be more clips. So it's very important to measure as you go. So now you're just gonna keep repeating those same steps. Take your time with this. As I said, your parts do not have to be exactly straight, but you wanna make sure that depending on the thickness of your hair, you wanna make sure you are measuring how much hair you're leaving out in between layers because you don't want it to be too bulky in between each track. So here is exactly why I said that measuring is so important. And I think it's because I parted it round as opposed to parting it straight. This track ended up being way too long for this section of my hair. So what I ended up doing was I ended up tucking the clip and clipping it to the bottom of my nape. In the end, I'm kind of happy that this happened because this allowed my nape area to look more natural. 
because the track was able to lay vertically instead of horizontally, it just made it so much more realistic. So out of the nine tracks total, I think I ended up using about four or five. And then the rest of the tracks I'm gonna use to create my ponytail or bun at the top of my head. So here I'm just showing you guys the difference between my curl pattern and the hair's curl pattern and I honestly was so shook because I could not tell the difference. It blended so well. And because this is Kankalon hair, this is like regular braiding hair, you will experience um, a little bit of shedding and tangling as you would any braiding hair. I do recommend having a pair of scissors or a razor nearby so that way you can just cut as you go. And once I do my twist out, we are going to be dipping this hair in some hot water so that will eliminate some of this untamed frizz that you're seeing. So now I'm taking some mousse and this is just going to tame some of the flyaways and the frizz and the unruly vibes that this hair is giving. <laughs> So now I'm just taking a clip and I'm getting this hair the hell out of my way. It is so hot under my ring lights and this hair is just so big. So now I'm going back in with my leave-in conditioner and I'm just spraying this section of my hair down. This leave-in conditioner is also a daily curl revitalizer is what they call it. So it's really important to keep your hair moisturized. So now I'm going in with my handy dandy edge booster and I'm just going to coat the top of my hair just to slick it up. I also forgot to mention earlier that you will need a brush. Make sure that it's sturdy, no milli rock. And you're gonna take that brush and brush it all up. You wanna make sure that your ponytail is smooth. And for those who struggle with rubber bands, as you can see, this like totally yanked out my hair, but this is something that I started doing. You can coat your rubber bands in some oil and this would help it slip right out when you're ready to take it out. And now I'm just gonna put this section of my hair into a tight little twisted ninja bun. If your hair is long enough, feel free to just do a twist out on your natural hair and just blend it with the clip-ins. But for this round, I wanted to make sure that my hair was covered and protected. So now I'm taking those shorter clip-ins and I'm adding those around the perimeter of my bun. I won't be adding any of these clip-ins underneath this ponytail, but I will just lay them down flat in the front so that way they fall over and kind of cascade on top of my bun. So as you can see at this point, I'm just stacking the clip-ins one on top of the other. And just like any weave ponytail with single tracks or clip-ins, I'm just pulling out a section of the Kankalon hair from my ponytail and I'm taking a piece of my leave out from the back and I'm gelling those together to wrap around the ponytail to cover the track. So now I'm just going in with a single blade razor and I'm just cutting off any excess or pulled hairs at the bottom. Next, I'm going to be doing a two strand twist out just to blend the clip in hair with my leave out. And I am literally just using the same gel and I'm just coating the hair and doing a two strand twist out um, as I would do a twist out on my regular hair and I'm just gonna be doing that throughout the entire back of my head. So 
So of course, whatever I do to the back, I'm going to do to the top and I'm doing a twist out, the same method, the two strand twist out on the ponytail at the top of my head. To seal in my twist out and to eliminate any frizz, I'm going to be taking some hot water. I boiled this water for about 10 minutes and I'm just gonna be dipping each of the twists in this hot water. Be sure to have a towel handy because this ish gets hot. So after letting this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes, I just added um, a little heat to it using a blow dryer and a diffuser. And now I'm just going to untwist this. The key to untwisting twist outs is to literally untwist the two strand twist that you do. Using a comb or, you know, using your nails to like rake this out is really going to make it poofy. And for this look, I really wanted it to be more of like a wet and wavy, sleek gelled look. As this hair dries, it does puff up on its own. So I'm just going to untwist it and let it do its thing. Physically going in and separating the twist out, separating the curls also helps make it bigger. And if you feel like your hair comes out a little dry, feel free to go in with some mousse and that should do the trick. At this point, we're pretty much done. This is the finished look if I were to leave it in a ponytail. But of course, I originally wanted to try this style because of the bun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this ponytail. I'm not gonna add any more products. I'm just going to literally rope twist it and knot it in a bun. All right, so now for real, for real, this is the finished look. Although this is synthetic hair, I must say it blends amazingly with my real natural hair. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video with me. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment down below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.